Hello, Spiritual Biz Success Peeps. How are you guys today? So I want to talk a little bit about something that just came up that I was here eavesdropping on a, one of my people's calls. Um, and it was really interesting. I hear this a lot about how people are piecemealing their business together. They've got this little piece here and this little piece there. You're blogging over here trying to find clients. You've got your website that you're working on. You're out putting out flyers. You're, you've got your business cards. You've got little pieces all over the place, but you don't have a foundation for your business. And I know a lot of you are doing this. You're investing in your business, but you're investing in your spiritual business in kind of the wrong way where you're looking at like, okay, how do I pull it together? The first thing people do is they go get their business cards. They start putting together their website. They're, they're posting on Facebook. They're blogging. They may be periscoping or they're on Instagram. They're trying all of these things to find clients and it's just not working. It's like you're spinning your wheels trying to figure it out. And it's usually because you have piecemealed it together and there's pieces all over the place and you're trying to get it to work cohesively to create a business. And we've all been guilty of this because it's we're told that to take this piece of our business and do this. We're told that blogging really works. Go out and create a blog. We're even told to go out and create a book. Go write a book and then people will come to you and you will be uh, you know, be the authority and you will get out there and get clients. And it it doesn't really happen that way. You know, someone will say, Periscope is a new thing, go start periscoping, and you go periscope and you're still going, where are the clients? And I know it happens, and what happens is because we've been piecemealing it together. We don't have a full plan. We're not looking at the bigger picture of how to put our business together. And we're not tapping into having a mentor to be able to show us how to do it. So there's pieces all over the place. And especially as spiritual entrepreneurs, we spend so much time and energy studying, right? We are like, we've studied with our gurus, we've gone on these amazing trips, we've climbed up to Machu Picchu, we've done all these amazing things to enhance ourselves spiritually, but with the business, then we piecemeal it together. And I know, I mean, I'd say almost everybody I talk to before they join my spiritual biz bootcamp are in that position. They've tried, they've been posting on Facebook. They've got the business page. They've got the personal page. They're saying what they do. They're like, I do readings or I can help you with this part of your life. And it just isn't working. And I see it over and over and it's a shame because as spiritual entrepreneurs, you guys have like amazing gifts. You have these incredible, incredible gifts to give out into the universe. That's why you were given these gifts. And when I see you guys struggling creating that business, it like breaks my heart because I know there's so many more people you can get out and really have that ripple effect on the planet when you have everything in place. So it's really important to start to think about and that's my little dog you're hearing, but it's hard to think about the foundation of the business that you need to create. Because if you don't have a full plan and are creating the true platform for your business, that piecemealing won't work. It doesn't work. I see it happen every single day with entrepreneurs. I see you guys in my um, in, in the Facebook group saying, I've been doing this piece and it doesn't work. I've been blogging over here, or I went to a meetup group, or I did this one speaking thing, or I was on this one telesummit and it doesn't come together to create the financial abundance. And it doesn't come together, again, because it's pieces that are scattered all over and there's not a cohesive platform for which to really uh, nurture those seeds, right? Because each time you do a blog post and someone reads it, or each time you do um, a, a speaking thing, or you're at a meetup group, or someone buys your ebook, there's, there's little seeds and you have to be able to nurture those seeds into the, the tree of fruit. Um, that's not quite the right word, but like the, 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 yeah, like the tree of life, right? Because really when you create your business and you feed it, um, hey, Summer, <laughs> that thing's right on your mind. Perfect. But when you go to feed that business, you have to nurture it and watch it grow. And then it really is the tree of life because it's going to give you the financial abundance that you need to sustain and grow and have an amazing, amazing life because we are the best version of ourselves when we have the financial abundance to be able to grow ourselves and be able to give back. So when you guys are starting to create your spiritual business, you're stepping out as a coach, as an intuitive, as a, as a medium, really as a healer, because we're all healers. That's what we're doing, right? We're healing the planet. We're healing the, healing the vibrational level of where we are and being able to share that energy out. So as a healer, it's your job to get out there and share that message, but it's confusing. I know creating a spiritual business is confusing, and that's why you guys are in this group. But if you guys are really ready to do this, 
and really get out there and have a huge effect, you need to have a foundation and you need to have a real business because a business is just a vehicle with which you use to get out there and show them who you are, to show yourself as an authority, to show that you can actually solve a major problem and change someone's life. Without a business, you're really just kind of saying, you know, I can help you with this little piece. I can do this reading for you. And you're kind of like, they look at you as an entertainer. They look at you as like, oh, that was really cute. They gave me a reading. Great. I'm going to go, you know, do whatever it is that I do today. I'm going to go watch a movie. I'm going to go hang out with my friends. They're not really taking you seriously because you don't have an actual business in place. So when you guys are starting this process, I want you to really think this through. You really need a foundation. You need to have a real business in place so that people can come to you, find you, and you can change thousands of lives. And how do you do that? You do that with, again, the business, and that's what I teach in Spiritual Biz Bootcamp. So, and you guys have seen all the posts and the clients that are doing amazing, amazing things out there. But it's really impossible to get out there in a big way when you are piecemealing. So you have to have a plan, you have to have a strategy, you have to have a full foundation to be able to get out there and serve at the highest level. So if you guys want to know more about the boot camp, let me know because it's an amazing way to really create that foundation. We have clients, um, you guys saw me chatting with Stacy the other day. Stacy has launched her beta course and she created almost $8,000 in financial abundance in like three weeks with her with the beta of her course because we've been building her foundation. We've been building her tribe. We've been building how she's going to serve them at the highest level to be able to get out there and do it. And so if you guys are serious about your business and you're serious about serving, because I hear a lot like, I just want to help. I just want to serve the people. Well, you're not serving if you're giving your gift away for free and you're not serving if you don't have a business because you're just playing small. And if you really want to serve, you have to create that vehicle to be able to get out there and change lives in a really, really major way. So give it some thought. If you're serious and you're ready, reach out. Let me know. Private message me here in the Facebook group because uh, being able to touch thousands of lives and have an impact is an amazing gift to give yourself and uh, everyone on this planet so we can change this vibration. So you guys have a beautiful day. Private message me if you are ready to stop playing small and play big and get out there in the world with your gift. Have a beautiful day.